<laughs> What's going on, Brewskis? What's happening? Yeah. Good looking crowd tonight. We're going to have a lot of fun. Anybody, if you're standing in the back, we've got plenty of chairs up here. Come in, come fill in. Uh, like you said before, we've got $3 SoPro in a can at the bar. Be sure you take advantage of that. Uh, this show's being brought to you by the folks at Southern Prohibition. It's Hub City Comedy's fifth anniversary. Five years of Hub City Comedy tonight. Yes. Keep in mind, this is our dance recital. This is, we've got, we've got folks that have been doing it a couple of months to a couple of decades. You're gonna see a lot of different types of comics tonight. It's gonna be a lot of fun for everybody. So just sit back and have a good time. A little bit of housekeeping before we get started. If you need to talk, take it outside. If you need to use your phone, if you need to text, if you need to browse the web, be respectful of the performers and the people around you. Please take it outside. Uh, absolutely no video capture unless you have the uh, permission of the uh, comic who's performing on stage. Other than that, have a really good time. Round of applause for the staff here at Brucey's. They're doing a great job, filling drinks. <laughs> Keeping them old, I guess. I don't know what they do with these. <laughs> Be sure you follow us, facebook.com slash hubcitycomedy, or on Twitter, at hubcitycomedy, or on Instagram, straight up. Hub City Comedy. We've got some great shows coming up around town. We've got Billy Wayne Davis, who has a uh, documentary produced by Morgan, Morgan Spurlock on CMT coming out next month. We've got Richard Ronovich. Then in September, we will be right back here at Brewski's, one of my favorite comics. The second comic we ever booked at Hub City Comedy. He's Jimmy Fallon's favorite comic. He tours with Fallon. He's had it. He just had his own Comedy Central hour special. Nate Bargatze will be right here at Brewski's. If you haven't seen him, look him up. Look on our page. I know Bargatze's kind of hard to remember to how to spell, but check out our Facebook page. We'll have all the information on that show coming up. Also, we have not announced this show yet, and I'm not announcing it tonight, but I'm going to give you a little tease. We have a former SNL cast member that will be here later in the fall. Saturday Night Live. So be sure to stay tuned for that. It's going to be an amazing show. I'm not gonna, you guys know, this is gonna be an incredible show tonight. You know all the comics that you came to see. You know who you came here for. I don't even remember. Let's get started. You wanna get started? Yeah! Do I need any music for that? Do you, how do you, do we just start cold? Are you not telling jokes? <laughs> Apparently not. <laughs> Let's, all right, let me, can I just tell some jokes? You just, just watch some porn on your computer or something. Let me just no, roll with this. Democracy, Jamie. Do y'all wanna hear Jamie tell some jokes? He's only, hey. He's only the best comic in the Pine Belt. It's a lot of pressure, dude. That's not saying much, all right? That's really? Like that's being, not saying a lot, no. That, that's like being the best Chinese checker player ever. <laughs> DJ Poboy, everybody. We give him yeah, a round of applause. Yeah, what's up? Son I of a bitch. I people in two mediums tonight. It's great. All right, put it on mute. Let me, let me, I got this. I'm trying to break into show business, so I just finished my first screenplay. It's about a group of homosexuals that try to gentrify South Central Los Angeles, and I'm calling it Straight Out of Compton. I think that's gonna be a big hit. I think you guys are gonna be into that one. I'm a sports fan. I love it when sports fans use the term we when they're referring to their favorite team, but they won't use it when they're talking about their family. It'll be like, the Bears, we won! My family, they're crazy. <laughs> Trying to slim up, been trying to uh, diet. Dieting's tough. Dieting is a lot like marriage. It doesn't work when you take too many cheat days. <laughs> that was my beautiful wife back there working the uh, t-shirt table. Yeah. How did that happen? I don't know. She's been the best first wife you could ever hope for though. I'll tell you that. We decided that we're not gonna have children. And the reason is, if I ever open up my own furniture store, I don't want to have to put them in the commercials. <laughs> so I hate when kids are in commercials. If you own a furniture store, listen, I'm not going to buy your overpriced furniture because your ugly kids can yell in unison. I'm sorry. It's not happening. We've got uh, two cats and a dog, which means my house smells like we're hoarding doo-doo. Yeah? Maybe you've seen their viral video, two cats, a dog, and a cup. Have you guys seen that? It's trending. Might have seen that. I like how Coca-Cola uses the, uh, they put people's names on the sides of bottles now. You've seen that, where they put the name on the bottle? I think penicillin should start doing that, you know? 
Yeah, share the clap with Chuck. I think that would be a good, good promotion. I think I could get into that. Somebody was clapping for the clap. I don't know what that's about. I'm just gonna roll with it. Thank you. Thank you, Clappy. I like watching, uh, have you guys seen that show Gangland? You know what I'm talking about? Gangland uh, comes on a number of channels. It's about gangs all around the country. And my favorite thing about this show is the announcer. Because he tries to talk like he's trying to fit in, like he's cool, you know? Like, if you have an alias, he will say that alias for the entire show. One of the most feared gangsters on the South Side, Charles Edward Jenkins, AKA Lil Booty Squirt. I'll say it the whole show. And then he'll try to throw in slang to his narrative. You know, he'll be like, he'll be like, he was chilling at the crib with the homies when shots rang out. So a little booty squirt grabbed his gat and went rat tat 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 on that ass. It's a great show. We got any students here tonight? Anybody going to school? Of course not. Yeah, all right, yeah. I think, I think some of you are going to school for the title, you know? Like if you go to medical school, you want people to call you doctor. If you go to culinary school, you want people to call you chef. If you go to cosmetology school, you want people to call you whore. <laughs> I can say that, I'm married to one, all right? Chill, I'm uh, a hairstylist, not a whore. <laughs> but listen, guys, seriously, if you want a cheap date, go get a haircut. She'll talk to you, she'll listen to you, she'll rub some titty on your shoulder, <laughs> rub some coot on your elbow. When's the last time you had a haircut that didn't feel like a really weak lap dance? That's all I'm saying.